Time to die. Hey, I'm back again with an instructional update on frame trapping with Nina. Um, the reason why I'm back is uh, I instructed. Um, I instructed like I'm. Let me stop using that word. Like I'm actually a master at this game. I'm actually very bad at this game. I just understand my two mains very well. Um, I had uh, suggested and. Um, the first tutorial that after her down for one plus two she's plus 20 i also suggest that in the update to go for moves um because all they can do is block them um moves that are between like uh i-15 to uh i-25 because all they can do is really block at that particular uh, point um and i also mentioned the importance of sidestep one canceling uh but you guys still want more because the nature is you know hit or get hit and i get it you guys play these other characters it seems like they can just keep pressure going with plus frames um nina is a very unique character a very peculiar one where um the way you traditionally build up pressure um in this game which is uh, <clears throat> a move that's you know, zero, which is neutral, to plus, you know, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine on block. And uh, you just continue your pressure going. Um, you want to do the opposite with Nina, and I'm going to showcase why here. Um, so let's get into this. Right now, I'm actually Hayachi, oddly enough, and the dummy is Nina. The dummy is Nina because you guys will be able to see um, some of these frame trap animations go down and it'll be a real person trying to uh, challenge instead of uh, me, me on uh, my challenging based on the recording time. So we're going to look at the traditional way of frame trapping first which is getting a move that's uh, plus on block and uh, going into uh, a bit of a poke mix up there. Um, so her QCF1, which I'm going to show first, it is plus one on block. That's it. It's just a very nice, cute, uh, cover. Just a very cute plus one on block. Um, and then I'm going to go to her other plus on block moves. And I'm going to show you that, um, reason why I say you want to go for the safer options that are minus but not punishable on block um but we'll get into that in a few right now we're on a plus on block moves and frame trapping with that so at only plus one on block um there's three things you can do with nina that realistically make the most sense and you'll get the most so what you want to do is you want to do a sidestep one cancel after QCF1 on block, that makes the most sense. Your plus one with a bit of pushback should be able to sidestep. The issue is when you run into characters with good down four ones and good jab range like Hayachi, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's sidestep, right? She's doing. Let me, um. Let's focus on sidestep left. <laughs> yep, see? Well timed. If I delay it a little bit, if I just don't attack, attack immediately. If I attack immediately, I hit Nina. And that's most of your opponents immediately They are challenging. Okay, confirm that one one two. It's annoying, right? Well, um, you might say that jabs don't necessarily track to sidestep right. So if you know that the Mishima player, um, whether it's a uh, Kazuya, Heiachi, or Devil Jin, you can sidestep right that one one. Huh. Trade, and it's um, huh. in your favor. But what, what can you do? Huh. What can Nina realistically do right there? So, right there at plus eight, 
Um, you can do uh, QCO2. Um, you can do another Hellringer, or you can do QCO3. As you're seeing, as you see what I'm saying here, you can do a move that evades. That's it from this range. We are just outside of Nina's range here a little bit, which is um, uh, like just below two and a half. Like our job range is really, you know, everybody knows it's, it's not the best. It's one of the worst in the game. You could go for a down for a two, but they could just not attack. You, um, you could go for, you know, a down for a one, but then they could just not attack, and now you're at with punishable frames. You see what I'm saying? If you want to attack it, you want to make sure it hits. So that's why I suggest doing a QCF1, QCF2, or QCF3. QCF4 too, the QCF4 might whiff and then the two will hit, but if they know Nina fairly well, they could um, just duck. You can do a 4-3 or a 4-2-1 here. 4-3, um, that's, or 4-2, that's assuming that you think they're gonna match, because as we all know, um, the string you want to go to is four. Is one, the string you want to go for is a uh, four two, um, four two one four, and as, as you know, that's duck launch on on block and four three. You know they can uh, on the first hit of the four three they can duck and then launch the um, second hit. So you see here, it's kind of um, it depends. It's very character dependent. Um, but it's kind of not the best thing you could do. Um, if you notice that they do um, big startup moves after QCF1 on block, you can go for a magic four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I tried to do, hey, I just down one there. Every time, but if I won one, I win. Mm. I lose if I do a down for a one off. Online, you will trade. So, if you know what hey, she's doing, um, down for a one after your QCF1 on block, and you guys are trading and you go to practice mode and you set the dummy to do this um, and the Nina is winning that online input delay. Um, but they do like an extremely slow move. Like I was doing with uh, the down one, uh, she'll win that every time. Um, but, I'm, again, I'm showing you why uh, the traditional way with Nina isn't necessarily the best way. They could just, you know, sidestep, you know. Now what? You whipped. You know? Um, not necessarily um, Nina's favorite to frame, to frame threat the, the traditional way. And, um,. She has other moves that uh, lead to the same thing with the other move, um, which is uh, 4 4 4. It jails, but it's also plus one on block. Um, it's pretty much the same type of frame trapping there. Um, albeit that it does recover slower than QCF1. Um, just a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, this is her only um, other plus on block move that's plus one now another thing you guys could think of well since she is plus one on block of qcf1 um and you have the read your opponent is going to retaliate with um a high jab whether a magic four or a high jab string but you know it's gonna the string at the very least they're gonna retaliate with is initially high high and you can just do QCF1 into QCF1. Um, so let's test that. Okay, she did QCF1 into QCF1. Wait, I didn't wait for that. 
Still. 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 Okay. What if you do a deep QCF input on the second QCF one? Let's test that. Slightly delayed a bit and it will work. The problem with this is you lose the down for ones. You beat highs. That's something to note. If you have the read again, if, that they're going to challenge with highs, um, you can do a deep QCF input and you will get the counter on their challenge. That's uh four here. Okay. Okay. So She has uh, 444. Four, four. That's um, insanely. It's an insanely good Whoa. approach tool. You do uh, get successful with the uh, jab floater out of it. But this is why, you know, with aerial moves, you don't want to spam them that much. As you know, trying to spam her insta while running um, 1 plus 2. So. She's plus 9. Up to she can be going from plus nine up to minus sixteen. As you see right there, minus seventeen. Yeah. Yep. Mhm. Mm but if you landed up close, you see how risky this is, and how it's kind of uncertain. I tried to jab there, you guys saw. Okay, but if I... Oh, see? Yep. Got it there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Get the point. It's really not, um... The best pressure tool. Um to use uh, uh, frequently in a set. It's something to throw out like very sparingly or if you want to throw it out kind of frequently so they know how to deal with it. Um, more power to you. But as you can see here, um, it's very much so range specific if you get that uh, plus nine. Um, is it worth risking being plus nine or the possibility of being minus 17 and launch punishment? Um, I'll be it, most people won't know the ranges, she's minus, so, um, what will happen when you're actually minus 17, you'll get a like, counter hit with like a down for one, or if you try to tech, and you don't, uh, press a button after you tech, you get hit with like a little down for one, um, there might be some cheeky people that, you know, like, can I not do it? Oh, I don't think I get hail at one. Um, that yeah, you know, I can't let you, but they might just launch you. Um, <laughs> um, it's really not the best tool to throw out there for plus frames. And, uh, if you've been playing Nina, which I don't have to, uh, explain here, but if you even, you know, try to do a while running one plus two, then you know. I just like to say. 
This is a fake plus. This you're really plus one. Just look what I can still do. Wait, no, not that. Give me wild running. I can still back that. I'm getting that. Um. For that, that's a good pressure move, but it's a pressure move where you don't want to take your frames. So as you can see, you can't frame trap with either with even her plus on block uh blah blah. Um and just for the sake of of just showing you because I know you guys spam it, I spam it too. Before three action here. Um it is plus six, but Wait, no. There we go. Is it worth fishing for the plus six if someone who's... You don't know if this person's new to Nina. It's a good logic... It's a good knowledge check. Not knowledge, logic check. But it's a good knowledge check. Um, hmm. Not really worth it, is it? <laughs> so. This is her plus on block frame traps that I didn't... Um, I didn't go over um they're not bad do not get me wrong they aren't bad however you will struggle against these characters with these good jab tracking good down for one tracking which is about half the cast <laughs> either half the cast either has a, a good down for one or a good jab um if they have a bad jab and a bad down for one then you know uh, uh, they should be deleted at this point <laughs> but um As you can see here, it's not the end all be all. Uh, the frame traps, I showed you how they're easily beaten. Um, and hopefully that'll show, showcase to you that what you wanna focus with Nina, again, is where the opponent likes to mash a button, albeit when, where the opponent wants to make a, make a mistake. Because Nina is full of uh, pokes and counter hit launchers that'll make people pay and pay quickly and pay with a lot of damage lost uh, from mashing. Okay, so let's look at her um, negative on block uh, frame traps. What I mean by negative on block is it is not safe. I mean, that it, not that it's not safe, excuse me, that it is safe. What it is is that she technically has lost her turn. So that's anything from... Um, zero on block to minus five on block um you can tr stretch it to like minus six minus seven it, it really depends on the move um but in general from neutral to minus five on block so let me start my favorite one so my favorite one here is uh her down four four her down four four on block um, this is one of the special ones where I say she can be like anywhere from like minus six to minus seven on block. So this is like minus six to minus seven on block. However, when it lands on block, um, there's spacing involved. So therefore the opponent has to choose what to do very wisely. Um, and it's not such far as pushback as down for a one plus two when they're completely out of Nina's range. Um, so it is a, a, a fair uh, approach at that point if you want to choose to evade after that or if you want to choose to back off um, if your opponent wants to retaliate. It's just uh, because of the, the nature of the uh, animation on block, it's just a lot better for Nina. Um, it is plus on hit and um, it's better on block if you ask me. And I'm gonna showcase why here. So let's do. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, that should work still, even though they say how she is annoying. Um. No, not wipe the floor. That is a common misinput when you're trying to do down for a four, you will get wiped the floor sometimes. 
I know y'all are like, what the hell with that QC back for it? Listen, it is a terrible move. However, if people want to retaliate when they shouldn't, do the backswing blow. It is what it is. <laughs> so um, let's start with the uh, down for four. As you saw, that was a nice minus. Oh, excuse me, this minus four on block. Okay, now I'm thinking of. Uh, um, her down for um, one plus six, a little bit more minus yeah. one block. So here, down for one's win. Jabs loses. See, see that? Good down for one's win. There you go. See that? This is way more rewarding than QCF1. Because QCF1 leaves you closer on block, you wouldn't necessarily get that uh, back four off. Um, you would lose to jabs. Showcase that. Oh, no. Just to um, see how I can see. See, and you're plus one. Now, how much better is a back four on counter hit than a magic four? Insanely better. Easier combo, and you deal more damage. Sign me up, you know? Sign me up. Sign me up. Um, of course, you know, it's not the end all be all. You know, they can still side step. Or sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. To the left, you can see. Um, isn't that so much better than being plus on block? Okay, here. This one is okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's keep it on there. Don't y'all hate that when you're trying to get the play to go? You'll lose to down for one. Down for one, you'll lose. You might win if you go side step left. But as we know, as Nina players, we always want to go sidestep right because you know we spend all that time on butterfly loops you know it's very important uh -huh. yep you lose to down for one you will lose to uh the uh -huh. but if your opponent just jabs the um They'll lose to that. And that will we'll punish. Let's get to the back swing blow. Yep. Lose to the one one three. Yep. Sometimes it'll still evade it. At tip range, it'll evade it. Sometimes. It's not consistent. Uh, no, the yep, not consistent. I did the wrong move there. See, this is if you know they're going to do a down for one. Isn't that so much better than being plus one? It's a lot better, isn't it? I know. I know.
I know. Um, let's get to uh talking about when the opponent wants to overextend on your minus five. Your minus five, your minus four to minus five moves that leave you pretty close. That's your one plus four. You're down back two. You're down four at one plus two. But mainly, let's let's stick to one plus four and down back two. Um, here, forward. Um. Okay. So down back two. Minus five. After this, you should lose to a lot. Yep. You know, a little one one jab. But let's say um, you've been doing what I suggested you do. And after um, down back two, you're doing a little back sway side step. So you're doing a little. You know, you're doing a little bit of that, which is annoying inher inherently because that means you're doing. Uh -huh. Um, the dummy here, I can't get her to backslide, but but you see, you get the point. You're, you're doing a little side step back sway and it's frustrating the opponent. Um, that's when the opponent is going to try to do things that have a bit more range. So they're going to do faster startup moves. Um, there's no reason here. Um, and also, excuse me, you've been defensive and you're doing down back to and actually ducking. Um, so you can block those lows or low parry them, whichever you be. Because you know that there it is. I have no machine execution no more. I can't do a uh, hell sleep no more. But you know, you've been blocking the chunky lows, you know, the you know the little, the little um, down back to not back to, you know, back to after that, you've been blocking that. Or if you doing been doing um QC back after the uh, down back to you know you've just been doing you know a little uh, that was bad uh, let's try that that should work yeah you've been doing QC back after that and you've been blocking that low um they're gonna start doing moves to um extend themselves a little bit so this is where down back two and one plus four it's a magic four kind of makes sense this is why nina is so much better at tekken for the people who enjoy small tekken um so down back two, i tried to do down two right there i got counted here. this is why nina is so good in long sets trade I tried to do back two right there. I still lose the lows. I still lose the 15 frame minutes and the down four ones. But 16 frames, I try. Or I win sometimes. It depends on how fast the opponent passes it. Um, it's the same thing for one plus four. Yep. Isn't that so much better than being plus one on block? Because you're building a mind game here. Dealing with spacing and in frames because being plus one on block, you know, that immediately makes sense to the um your opponent, like, oh, they're, they're plus one, they think they can mash, they think they can do this, and it's an illusion, and it, it leads them to be right, because you're so much closer on block than you are on your safe um, mids. Um, these are why Nina's mids, like I said, they aren't amazing, but they are good for what they are, and they're good for long sets. So, the rushdown is 
and you tiring you tiring your opponent with where you mash buttons because they think you're mashing but what you're actually doing is you're paying attention to the moves that they're doing like how fast do they look you don't have to know the frames or everything but quite honestly this move down two looks slower than down four one this move back two looks slower than you know an electric um just overall just understanding or if they just refuse to um let you live you know let's say you're playing a character with a you know, not kid, um that's where your back sway side steps come in um so you frame trap your opponent by forcing an error with nina there is no inherent like i said buttons you can just do um but it's just things that they overall pay attention to um Okay, you guys, we're going to focus on the frame trapping at the wall. Um, again, there really isn't anything that's true that Nina can do. Um, we all know about... Um, so I said one cancel. And I went over what she can do, not that. Jesus. You know, you can do that. Um, and I went over how fake down for one, two, and a side step one is. You know, not that, but. You know, if you want to do that, or. A little side step, you know, a little side step one in the four, two, which is QCF2. Uh, that I went over. Um, you guys are one. I guess you guys are looking for um, more other frame traps. Um, by now, you guys should know about QCF1 on block and two, four. Um, you asked me, that's not really that good. <laughs> it, um, it just isn't. Um, but there are, um, other things you can do with, uh, QCF1 on block at the wall that I think, um, will make your opponent up because this is better if you do, if you do this, just over and over again. Um, let's, let's record here. And all I've done here is just create just uh, some pressure. So. As you can see, the same stuff just don't work. Which I showed earlier, which is, was the back sway to side step one, or the side step one, and immediately to avoid the one one. Um, but what you can do now that may sound odd, but you will get the point is that you want to. Get a little knockdown. Um, is it good? No, but it did evade. Um, let's be more realistic here. I, I'm just trying to give y'all these <laughs> options after being plus one to block. You don't have many. Um, also, because the spacing is also um, not the greatest. Um, what you can do is. <laughs> can't do that. Um, but again, losing to uh, jabs, um, jab strings, down for one strings, down for ones, um, in general, or quick little mid pokes or um, launches track really well. So how do you frame trap with Nina at the wall? Um, movement. Nothing is true that she does as a frame trap. Um, your, um, movement is how you do This is, you can go for four, three, um, but like I said, four, three, you can duck launch it. You can go for a four, four, um, 
but um, like I said, sometimes you won't necessarily get the you won't necessarily get a wall splat, as you saw while standing one one plus two, literally just hit with right there. So it's not necessarily the best to brute force um, plus on block moves or, or insanely um, evasive moves just to keep pressure going. What you want to do yeah, is yeah, time yeah. To kill. you want to get the betrayer throw. You want to do all her mids that wall special. Two, down for one plus two, down for three, four. Um, just to name a, a few of them that will wall splat. Um, you can do down four, three, four, 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 if that's what you so choose to do. Um, wall splat is one, one plus two. Um, her jab strings. Um, one, two, four, if they want to press. We all know if they want to press that the four will give a counter hit stun. Right into a wild combo. Um, lateral movement, quick buttons, make it hard for them to sidestep, make them want to duck so they can low pay the ass. Um, so you can um, just do your down for it one plus two and um, either get insane plus runs because she has plus 20 on hit or actual wall splat, depending on how close you are to the wall. Um, now they're fearing down for a one plus two, so you can do side step one and side two two um, freely. Um, jabs. Jabs are insanely good for frame trapping on the wall because her jab range is um, so bogus. You can go into a duck if you think they're going to jab retaliate. Um, to duck into uh, wipe the floor. As you can see, ducking at the wall with Nina is really resourceful um, because she does have a scary low at that particular point. She has wiped the floor. Um, you gotta wake up to Nina and Nina's insane Oki. Oki, all these mids wall splat. And plus if you duck, um, they have to be fearful of while standing one, one plus two. Um, also, if they do jab after um, after uh, blocking the one, then you can do um, your two four, or you can do your um, your back two two if you think they're gonna sidestep. So, I want to show you guys that this is um, character specific. Even though you are plus one there. Still losing. Trade. Her plus frames, um, not necessarily the plus on block frames, not necessarily the best. Although, although they are stronger, so online you might win that exchange. Um, online, uh, offline versus someone with the regular jab range like um, 
a Noctis or a uh, an Eddie or um, a uh, um, Kazia. Kazia does have a normal jab range of Leroy. If the Leroy isn't parrying, um, hey, um, I'm, I'm forgetting, you know, characters like Julia, Zafina, you know, you, you'll win that exchange. But versus the characters, like I said, with good jab range, you lose it. Um, and that's why it's very much so important that um, you get in the lab and you gain. You set the opponent to. After blocking, you know, sidestep one, like one, two, or sidestep one, two, that's two you. not four, two. That's how you get. There we go, two jab. Um, you know, see what the options are available to them. See how they um, beat out Nina. Um, I'm gonna let you know that um, gaming around jabs and sidestepping the, sidestepping the jabs after your plus friends is the best way to go. Sidestep. Ducking, back sway, ducking, um, sidestep, one cancel into duck is insanely good because it forces them to um, extend on their mids. And once they extend on their mids, then you know, it's your world. Magic four at the wall, four three at the wall, back four at the wall is insanely good because you deal so much more damage. That's how you frame chat with Nina. In short, you force them to make an error because nobody likes being at the wall and just blocking you're going to run into very few players who are going to just block um and that's pretty much the gist of frame trapping with nina um again if you guys have any questions i will link my discord below you can join my discord and as always happy gaming and have fun with nina good win player isn't it past your bedtime